Scott here and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. So today we are going to be fixing up this vintage adios. So he came with a lot of rubs. I got him from an antique store uh, right after Briarfest for $10 and I just couldn't resist. I absolutely love this mold. Um, this was actually, this guy was the first one that I like bought when I first started like wanting to seriously start collecting. So this mold does have a very pl special place in my heart. So basically, I'm just going to be showing you guys how I'm going to be fixing him up, what I plan to do. I'm not a professional in any way at customizing or just touch-ups. I know how to do the basic stuff. I feel like that's necessary with model horse showing, even with photography. Like, you don't want your horses to have, like, very obvious ear tip rubs when you're taking pictures of them you want them to look nice so it's always nice to have just these basic things down to be able to fix up more simple color briars or just anything but yeah this guy has a lot a lot of flaws mostly just rubs and it's very easy because a lot of them are on the black and even like these rubs it's a pretty basic dark brown and I think I'll be able to get pretty close to matching it. So first thing I'm going to do is go give him a quick little rinse off. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you some of the stuff that I have with me. So I just have white, brown, and black acrylic paint. Very cheap from, I don't know, probably Michael's. I just have this on me. I have some paint brushes. I have some pastels. I just, these are the ones that I bring to shows. I always bring black and brown with me most of the time if I don't forget them. Um to be able to just put on really quick to some models and that has saved me so so much in showing like really bring stuff to be able to fix like minor flaws very quickly then i just have some q-tips which i think i'll just be using to apply the pastels this isn't exactly going to be a long term fix but it can be if i don't just move him around too much which he's just going to be sitting on my shelf and chilling so i really don't find any other it, I don't think that he'll be getting any more damage or the touch-ups will come off, but if they do, it's very easy fixes. And also, I have an eraser, which, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but if you use a pink eraser, it helps take off shiny marks. So, this has been a lifesaver for me. I learned about this, like, first week in the hobby, and I've been loving it. So, I just get a normal pink eraser, and it literally makes the, t the shiny marks come right off. Okay, I'm gonna go wash him off real quick, and then we'll get back into it. Okay, so he got his quick little bath. I was actually able to get off, like, these little, like, white marks, and it does look like he, like, has some paint, oh, <laughs> has some paint just on him. You know what? I'll show you a little close-up. So this is the start of this guy. Got a lot of rubs, ear rubs. I'm sure there's some hoof rubs. What? Fix this guy up. But first, I think that we are just going to focus on all kind of the black points in him. Um, I think his ears are supposed, yeah, they're definitely supposed to be brown. So we'll go back to that. But um, first we're going to have to focus on his nose. And I think we're going to start with his tail tip, actually. So he has a pretty bad tail tip rub, which is not cute. So I think we're just going to go in with some of black acrylic paint and we'll just touch that right up. Oh, easy fix. Already covered. Perfect. I don't think I'm going to need another layer because I kind of put like a big kind of chunk on. But honestly, it's like already looking completely normal. So now that he has his tail done, um, I just think I'm going to go in with his hooves also just some on his legs so literally all i'm going to do is take the black acrylic paint and just paint over it this guy is a very even though he does have a lot of flaws um they are like the most convenient colors that they could be because like if this was a palomino or something else um that was not black or even brown is a little bit gonna be like hard to find the exact match but any black touch-ups you can honestly do very easily by yourself
Okay, here is his little nose that this is not supposed to be like that. So we are just going to take some acrylic paint and paint right over that. So the paint still has to dry, you can kind of see where I put it, but it should dry more matte and fit right in. Okay, this mold has literally the cutest face. Okay, so there is some spots on his leg that it's like very close to where it is white. Um, I'll show you guys. But I want to go in and fix this part with some pastels. I'm just going to take my black pastel and just rub my um, Q-tip along it. This is like real quick ways to fix it I guess you could say because like this is what I do at shows. My hand is covered in like black paint and pastel. It's going to go in and just touch that part of it. Or you could take the actual thing and just I literally just rub that into it just to because it wasn't picking up with that for whatever reason. I'm just going to buff it out a little bit but I don't really think it needs any. So I'm just going to leave him just like that. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not striving for perfection for perfection with this boy, uh, but I'm just kind of testing out what I'm able to do. So I think all the black spots are kind of done and good. So now we kind of have to get to the hard part, which is all the rubs on his brown. So uh, I don't know what we're going to do with that. Before I start any of that, I'm just going to take my pink eraser and go over any shiny marks I have found on him, which there honestly isn't that many, I don't think. A lot of it, the light is like, the lighting is awful, I don't know what to do. But there's like some like kind of, like there's some paint on him like I showed you guys before. There's like random stuff that I don't know if it's scuffing or like there's literally just something on him. So I think I am just going to kind of take the eraser over anything where I think it might help and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I was actually able to erase away a lot of the paint that was on his side right here. Um, yeah, it must have some paint, but I just kind of went with the eraser and tried to erase it off. And most of it came off. I think I'm going to try a little bit more and Okay, wow, this eraser just worked some miracles. There were some um, gunk on like the side of his butt and on his barrel, and yeah, he is looking good, kind of. But now it's basically just the rubs. Um, so that is rubs on the plastic. I can't erase those away, unfortunately. Um, but I'm very happy with how well that worked. Now on to the scary part the brown. Okay, so I'm kind of debating whether or not I should just go in with the pastels first and see how nicely that covers it, which I think I'm just going to do just with my basic dark brown, and we'll see how well that covers it up. So I have this kind of medium brown, which I think I'm going to use first. I'm pretty sure I do have a darker brown. Yeah, I do. Uh, is this dark? This looks a little bit darker, but if anything, I could kind of scrape it off and then mix the two browns together, or I could start mixing some paint and try and find an exact match, but we're just going to see what happens with the pastels first, and we'll go from there. I feel like to an extent it's working, but it's just going to take a lot of work. Oh my god! I wasn't that dry. <laughs> I just freaking took all the paint off of his tail. Ugh! Okay, I gotta go wash my hands again. Right, we're just leaving his tail until the end because I can't do this right now. But um, I feel like it's working to an extent, but I think I'm going to try and mix some paint and see what happens. Uh, I think I'm just going to take the acrylic paint and just see how close of a match it is at first. Because it honestly, I feel like it might come out kind of close, but we'll see. I feel like a lot of like touching up horses or even just customizing in general, it's a lot of trial and error. Okay, why is that a pretty good match? 
So I put some right there. I can't even point to it. But it's on there, but it doesn't look too bad. You kind of see right there, it's kind of shaking. Uh, but yeah, let's keep- Okay, hello again. It's been like a half an hour of me trying to figure this guy out. And basically, I'm just going to let him dry off now. Uh, so basically, what I ended up doing was trying a lot of things. I ended up mixing together the black and brown paint. Um, and it was very difficult. I literally, most of the time, was sitting in the kitchen mixing. Trying to find a color that matched. I think I got pretty close. This drawing kind of weird. This is kind of being a fail, but we're really trying. Um, yeah, so this guy isn't going to look perfectly LSQ, um, in my opinion, uh, but it's really hard just with all the rubs that were on his body and, like, there's a million different shades of brown and even all over his body, like, considering how old he is, the shading is absolutely beautiful, like, they did such a nice job on him. Um, but yeah, all the black parts, though, look really, really nice, like, could not tell because that's basically the only stuff that's really dried down right now the brown is still all drying so I think I'm just going to go eat some lunch I'm starving and then after I will come back and we'll take a look at him okay guys so he is done and dried and he's looking a little funky um I think the paint just dried a little like kind of strange so I might just have to try and fix that up eventually but I will say from a distance he looks pretty good now uh I got rid of basically all the ear tip rubs I guess I could touch it up a little bit and we'll do that with some pastels but yeah I I'm happy with how he came out he does just literally sit on my shelves this is probably like I'm not like professional customizer artist whatever um, this is just like basic stuff I know and I want to get better at all of it. So we are gonna be figuring that out as we go. But yeah, that is him. I'll be showing you guys or maybe you saw by now. Um, the little before and after. But yeah, he's he's nice. I, I'm happy with it. Uh it just takes a lot of time, especially when a horse has a lot of flaws. And it just takes a lot of perfecting, so hopefully, maybe I'll be able to make it better soon, eventually. But I'm happy with how he is for now, and, you know, I could fix anything later on. Um, it's not like I'll be showing this guy, I just really like having him on my shelves. I think he looks so nice, and I'm happy that he won't look as beat up as he once did that's it i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i know a lot of people were requesting it um once i said that i was thinking about making it so here it is uh, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed comment whatever you want um any other video suggestions that you have and yeah uh i hope you guys have a wonderful day make sure to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell to see whenever i upload all right guys See you later, and most importantly, stay fabulous. Bye!